Good morning to another present here. In this video, we take an introductionary look at basic concepts of interpersonal skills. Interpersonal skills are the skills we use every day when we communicate and interact with other people, both individually and in groups. People with strong interpersonal skills are often more successful in both their professional and personal lives. Positive character traits. These are the skills which are necessary for interpersonal relationship and as relationship will always require certain positive character traits one should verify at one time or the other whether one has trustworthiness, mutual faith, personal integrity, moral courage and competency. Formal interpersonal skills Establish the first bondage and build the warmth. They are greetings. A greeting to the other person should be spontaneous. And it establishes an awareness of each other's presence. In affirms the relationship between two and facilitates further communication. The warmer the greeting, the stronger the communication. It is the mock of one's culture. True, it can be verbal or non-verbal. It is better if it is verbal. It is better if it is com combination of both. The following are the pop popular verbal greetings in English. For instance, hello, hi and hey. The next one is inquiring. It does asking and giving polite and courteous replies to questions. The question may be of any kind, say, interpretive questions, SRNO questions, or rhetorical questions, but the tone applied should be able to elect the desirable or intended response. While the SRNO questions may not show the intentions and the interest of other person, decorative questions should encourage the other persons to come out with true and retail information wanted by us. These questions have the specific character of activating the reason of both the persons involved and help them keep the emotions under control. The person who puts the question has always the responsibility to see that other person has understood his question well. After all, the answer is all the more important than the question. The persons who elect responses should be courteous and patient. He should give the person his own time to answer and particularly when it is serious inquiring in an office. He should refrain from acting hastily, rushing to premature judgments and making wrong conclusions and making offensive statements, giving hasty suggestions, making egoistic statements about self, putting sub questions before the answer for the main question is over. The inquiring per person should stay silent as it would help the person understand the question and the situation better and come out with more information. And the next one is demonstrating respect. Respect has to be shown to all the people whether their age and social status. Some people when they are in a group rush to exchange pleasantries with men of higher status and ignore those of humble status. Even when they later come to talk to them, they move away throwing an insulting glance at them. Such people who show parity should soon become unreliable and isolated. Men in important positions or those who have just started the career should treat everybody with respect and encourage them to come out with their opinion and ideas which can be used to improve the work. When they are in a team, they should patiently listen to others before expressing our view. Bullying the shy people, blankly opposing or abruptly cutting off a particular person, verbally assaulting the people or putting down their ideas just as an exercise of power will soon isolate us. Winning their confidence again is difficult. We should not be constantly criticizing the people over petty things or errors they commit. 
such an act will retain them and as they become voracious and shrink more and more the efficiency will go down nor should men at the helm of affairs treat people with partiality ignoring some people and favoring some others will create a hostile work environment they should treat the subordinates equally and fairly so that the overall output is good and rewarding meeting and incentives to encourage workers training sessions to improve the efficiency and taking care of the personal problems will yield good result and will build up a better team spirit after all every employee's first expectation is that the workplace should be respectful and rewarding in general everybody no matter what his age and social position is wants to be respected particularly when he is in a group offensive words and gestures even to anti social elements in a public place will yield only dangerous results and the next one is acknowledgement people who communicate to us want to make sure that the message have been well understood and it thus given its due consideration if we do not acknowledge people duly it is possible that any future communi- communication with them becomes weaker and the purpose may not get served due an immediate acknowledgement is a must for career builder and one should know that this values are reciprocal acknowledgement is a kind of support to the other person's viewpoint or contribution to us it can be verbal support which is an indication of moral support that frequently happens in one's personal life in public offices institute and business establishment acknowledgement to one's good or external contribution to the growth of the organization takes the form of financial incentives the other forms of financial support are medical insurance policies meeting the educational expenditure of the children and interest free loans to build their houses the next topic is reasons for poor interpersonal skills the first reason is poor emotional intelligence when emotions overrule reasoning the receiver of the communication may not understand the different dimension of the message how the sender perceives the message the situation the objective and the meaning of the message extreme emotions will destroy the right perspective or the interpretation of the message it is always best not to react to any communication when the receiver is in a fit of temper or emotional imbalance an angry or sad person will never be able to think clearly and consistently emotional balance and the level headedness are important for the right delivery of the message and the right understanding of the communication reserved the next one is self dividends lack of self confidence can hinder successful communication somebody diffident and shy cannot take the lead in any group activity or his contribution may not be worth mentioning he often becomes the loser in a competitive environment and his initial prosperity becomes a question he will not accomplish his goals in an organization where there is competition for survival and the next one is dependence persons who suffer emotional imbalance inferiority complex or loneliness or defect they do not know what mutual understanding is and do not come forward to interact as they feel insecure they can quickly provoke and any adverse reaction can put them in a difficult situation and the next topic is lack of cooperation some people isolate themselves to be islands as they do not have team spirit they do not accept others ideas even when they are right and do not cooperate with them when the job is secure they prove to be useless and or liability if this loneliness or brainless and egoistic they will prove to be a nuisance too they have to be concerned later and the mental or the organization will suffer a damage and the next topic is incompatibility 
there are some who may behave well in the action but still due to lack of blowness they may not fit in an organization they hook from job to job and finally land nowhere they won't be able to face the tough society too they feed on to obligation and resort to escapism and the next topic is shells due to interpersonal frictions either at home or at office regularity in work and the resultant problems and first errors and character problems stress accumulates in people and the result is that communication breaks down in course of time if a person does not come out of the clutches of stress and becomes mentally free he or she becomes physically and mentally uh, character problems a man who works in an organization and particularly if he is at the head of affairs cannot have character problems if he has he loses the trust in others having him and he won't get any cooperation from fellow members of the team clean character and good behavior are mandatory for successful training in an organization character and behavior are the pillars of wish all the other activities reward it is by open mindedness self confidence team spirit good behavior interactive ability and good communication that this problem can overcome interpersonal skills in the awake of an unpredicted population explosion struggle for survival and advanced science and technology are more complex and demanding than in the past through there is acute competition for jobs and for safe living there is exposure in technology and communication to that create plenty of opportunities grabbing of the opportunities and doing the given assignments well depend not only on some technical know how but on good understanding of interpersonal interactions shaking hands and holding them together the base on which the evidence of achievement can build thank you